Um, excuse me. Do you mind if we partner up for this project? I'm new around here, so I don't really know anyone yet. And everyone else has said no. Sorry, that sounds like a sob story. Oh, you don't mind? <laughs> Thanks, I was starting to worry I would have to do this by myself. Um, how do we want to split this? The teacher gave us five things to research, so it's not like we can just split it halfway. Are you sure? I don't mind taking three points instead of two, or finding some other way around it. I'll leave those points to you, then. Thanks, that's really kind of you. I don't actually know too much about this subject, so that's a bit of a weight off my shoulders. Um, I just didn't study this subject in my old school. I studied something else, but then this school didn't offer it, so I had to pick something new. Paints being a transfer student, right? <laughs> uh, uh, how did I know you were a transfer student? As somebody else told me. Who? Uh, I don't remember. Just someone from class. <laughs> it's not really important. <laughs> uh, so, so do you want to come around mine later so we can start the project, or would you rather we start at yours? Yeah, sure. I don't have a problem going to yours. Oh, um, can I have your phone number? I think we have different classes at the end of the day, so that way we can just text each other once we're both out of class. Sounds good? Excuse me, pardon the intrusion. Oh, your parents aren't around. Are they still at work? You live alone? How come? They work abroad. I see. That's a smart excuse. I'll give them that. Huh? Oh, it's nothing. Just... Never mind. Should we set everything up in the lounge? Sure, we can set everything up in your room. No complaints here. Uh, sorry, I'm just getting a call from my parents. Do you mind if I go take this? I won't take long. Thank you, I will be right back. I'm trying here, okay? I know that your little blackboard of plans seems simple, but it's not. You haven't considered the mental toll. The whole reason I was brought in for this project initially was because of that, remember? If I just go up to them and say... Oh, just so you know, your entire life as you remember it is a lie because your mind was uploaded into a simulation that your parents built for you as your body recovers from a traumatic accident they caused and felt bad about, but now some stuff happened so your uncle is trying to get you out of the simulation with the help of your childhood best friend that you don't remember because the simulation is suppressing your real memory so that you don't die from the stress and trauma of an experience that should have killed you? Yeah, that would go over real great. Shoot. Wait, please, 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 let me let explain. explain. Don't run, Don't run off. off. Please, I understand that. That was a lot to take in at once, and sorry, you, you weren't meant to overhear that. that. You're probably really confused and scared right now, but running off isn't going to change anything right now, okay? Let's try some breathing exercises. Breathe in for four seconds. One, two, three... Four. Okay, okay, hold for seven. seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. Release, Release that breath, breath eight for eight seconds. seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How are you feeling now? Do you want to do it again? All right, but... If you start to get overwhelmed again, let me know. We can sit or lie down if that helps. Will holding my hand help? I'll leave my hand here if you need to squeeze it at any point. The phone call. Do you remember having an uncle? 
one that works in biotech advancement? You don't. Well, I'm afraid you do have one. He was the one I was speaking to on the phone. Yeah, what I said on the phone call is true. This world is a simulation. Their parents... I'm not sure how you remember them in this world, but in the real world, they were working with medical companies to develop a technology that would allow a person's consciousness to be temporarily stored within a computer while a patient is recovering. They wanted to reduce any mental trauma that would amount from situations such as long-term illness care or, in your case, traumatic accidents. Think of this place as a virtual rehabilitation center. I don't know the details of what happened, but your body was severely injured. The doctors didn't think you'd be able to make it in your state. So your parents decided to make you the first person to be uploaded into this program, and luckily it worked, but then both your parents and your body went missing, and the companies that were funding your parents' research now want to shut down the program. If they did that, your consciousness would be lost as well. So your uncle found out about this and managed to access the main server where your consciousness is being stored, the place we are right now. He has done his best to develop a robo-body to upload your consciousness to. The only issue is that whatever method your parents were going to use to bring you back to reality is lost with them. Without it, the only way to get your consciousness out of here is for you to willingly leave the simulation. As your friend and a psychologist, I was chosen to come in here and explain the situation so that you'd be able to do so. Getting your consciousness out of the simulation is frustratingly simple. You just have to think about returning back to your old life. That'll do the trick. The frustrating part is that your parents, for whatever reason, decided to completely replace your memories with new ones. Sorry to put this burden on you, but is there anything you remember at all? Anything about your parents? Your uncle? About me? Oh, yes, that's right, I gave you a stress ball a few years ago. You ended up using it so much the paint cracked and it tore. And you gave it back to me just before the accident. Can you remember that? Okay, just focus on that memory. Try to recall as much detail as possible. I'm right here with you, okay? Both in this simulated world and the real one. When you wake up, I will be right there with you. Just close your eyes and try to focus. Their eyes are open. Their eyes are open. Are you okay? How do you feel? Can you tell how many fingers I'm holding up? Yes, that's right. Thank the heavens. Welcome back.